Neil, thank you for joining us. Uh, as you know, we're talking ahead of World Mental Health Day, which takes place this Saturday, the 10th of October. Uh, I know for yourself, you work with Andy's Man Club and the Huddersfield Town Foundation. We're both keen to promote good mental health and well-being. Uh, if you wouldn't mind first just running me through what Andy's Man Club is, how it started and what it does with people across the country. Yeah, no problem at all. Um, it started just over four years ago. Um, a chap called Lou Campbell, who was a professional rugby player for the likes of Leeds Rhinos and Halifax. Um, and they had the devastating news one morning that his brother-in-law had actually taken his own life at 23 years old. Um, Andy Roberts, hence the Andy and Andy's Man Club. Um, they decided that there wasn't enough support out there for men who were struggling and for families to go and get help. So him and, and Andy's mum, Elaine, started Andy's Man Club. Um, the first meeting in Halifax had 15 guys turn up just off a random Facebook post. 15 guys turned up. Um, and I'd say about four, four and a half years further on, up until the start of lockdown, we were regularly getting over a thousand guys a week turning up on a Monday night um, across 28 clubs in the country. And just, um... What, what exactly is it that happens at Andy's Man Club meeting? Is it talking about different issues or? You name it. It's for men over the age of 18 to discuss anything that they want. Um, it can be good, it can be bad, it can be ugly. I mean, yeah. we've heard every possible tale, some unimaginable, some that admit your hair curl. Um, guys, many guys who've attempted suicide many guys with long-going health problems, um, mental health issues, aches and pains, etc. Women trouble, that's a popular one. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's far-reaching. It's just far-reaching, you, you name it. And there's some people just lonely. Well, I think the thing to get across about Andy's Man Club, it's not just about suicide and depression. You know, there are so many more issues out there that, that affect people and those. Obviously, they're the key ones. Um, but you know, it can be something, something as little as just having you just lost your job. I mean, not little, but something like that, as opposed to you know trying to throw yourself under the train, kind of thing. If I can just touch on uh, World Mental Health Day, um, how important do you think it is to have like international um, days of recognition like this to to make, to boost the profile of the message? They're, they're absolutely vital. They're, they are absolutely vital to, to getting the message out there. Um, what, what we would say with Andy's Man Club is it's, it's every day for us. You know, it's, it's great to have these days that are shouted from the rooftop by everybody and you see them all over social media. Everyone has to give this another. Brilliant for getting awareness out there in a lump of a platforms like Twitter, etc. But for us, it's just every day. You know, we, we carry on. We have close Facebook groups, Twitter pages, etc., and they are getting bombarded non-stop. Um, the office in Halifax, where everything's run from, has just had to take on two more members of staff just be, just to meet demand. It's it's actually gone through the roof. In fact, one of those guys who was just been taken as a member of staff in Halifax was a member at that very first meeting back in Halifax four and a half years ago. So he's gone full, full circle from being one of the first to walk through the door to actually helping run it now but yeah it's vital it's just vital and the more people which obviously organizations like town getting involved has been massive for us in the local area and we saw a rise when i first started at huddersfield one in september 2018 we used to have between 20 25 every monday and like i say up lockdown in march we were getting upwards of 75 so it just shows you the the steep rise there and that will have been a fair bit to do with the stuff that town have been doing for us. Yeah, no, you, you mentioned the link with town there. I know, I know you're a big fan of the club yourself. Um, yeah. Do you mind just going into a bit of detail what you've done with the club and the foundation? The big one, the exciting one, was when we played Leeds at home just before Christmas last season. And we had a big and his man club day. And we picked that game in particular because we've got a big club in Leeds as well. So we got their lads over um, and did leaflets out, spoke to people around the ground, um, even 
the only one club five a side team on the pitch at half time playing against the foundation lad. So to get that on the pitch, to get all the awareness that that brought, the following Monday after that, there were a, a few members brand new at the Huddersfield venue on the back of that. And there were five lads went to the Leeds group just on the back of seeing everything that went on that day, which that shows you the power. Just from that one day, you've got nigh on double figures of lads walking straight through the doors of those two clubs. Which... And at the Town Foundation, we've, we've recently restarted our uh, mental health football sessions. So every Thursday for an hour and a half, we have uh, people who have self-refer themselves, people who come down from NHS Insight teams and other sources that come down, play some football, get to know each other, make friendships. How important do you think physical activity is to mental health? It's enormous. I mean, it's something that I've really struggled with because I used to play football myself, et cetera. And then with various injuries and what have you, I walk permanently on crutches now. So that's something that I find really difficult um, that I can't go actually go and do it. But it is so important for people to go and get, get out there and get in the fresh air, um, do something. Get the, get the blood pumping and uh, me mentally we, we see we see the pluses we'll, we'll have guys walk through the door and then they'll start going swimming or they'll start going for a two mile walk every day and the change and the positivity in those guys in such a quick time it's just amazing and you know people bang on I'm saying they bang on about it. people do bang on about it but it's so important it is so important that that message is out there and the fact that they're all meeting and playing football and stuff, absolutely fantastic. And obviously we'd be happy to come down and talk to them as well. That's great. And just finally, if, if there was somebody out there who's struggling with mental health issues, what would your one message be to them? Talk. Simple as that, talk. Reach out, speak to somebody. Don't bottle it up. The, you know, there used to be massive stigma. Um, you have been judged, etc. cetera those walls have been broken down by people like us. You know, I'm I'm six foot four, big lad. It's almost previously frowned upon to say that you've you you're mentally weak or, you know, it's not about that. We all we all come across troubles and we all come across struggles. And it's about facing those and making sure that you just go and talk to that one person. And if you what you tend to find is, we, we always say it often at Andy's Man Club that you've probably got, when you sat in a room on a Monday night, you've probably got a room full of this country's best actors. Because at some point, we've all put on a front, some still continue to put on a front, um, and everybody thinks you're all right. You know, it's ask twice, another one, just ask twice. If you're asking somebody if they're all right, and they say, oh yeah, I'm all right, just nudge again. And they can tell that you care, and just showing that you care about people does mean a lot. Anybody out there who is struggling, please just reach out to anybody. There's there's plenty of places like us. There's plenty. The Samaritans do a brilliant job. Even you know you'd, you'd be surprised in each person's group of friends. I can guarantee there'll be somebody else that's struggling within that group. Absolutely nailed on within workplaces. You know within workplaces just. Be aware, take that time, take that sometimes two minutes conversation with somebody you wouldn't normally have a chat with. A one minute, two minute conversation can transform their day and without sounding too drastic, can stop them going and buying a rope on the way home. That, that's how stark it is, you know. It's that probably does sound a bit extreme, but that happens. That's how one of these man clubs started. You know, he had a great day at work, went to BQ and bought a rope, done. So, you know, it's it is a it's a harsh message. It is a very harsh message, but the stigmas are coming down, the walls are coming down, and it's just it's all about talking. As as we all say, it's okay to talk. It really is. Fantastic, Neil. Um, well, thank you for your time. Um, anybody wishing to find out more about Andy's Man Club can visit their website, andysmanclub.co.uk. Um, the Town Foundation will also be promoting more of their work on mental health football throughout this week on our social media channels. You can find us at HGFC Foundation. Thank you.
Brilliant. Cheers.